A study in 2016 found out that among adolescent male and female, around 60% suffer from body image issues because of not being able to achieve the extremely perfect body ideal held up in entertainment and advertisement media. So, I have always been fat, like I have been always been chubby, voluptuous, fat, whatever you say. It has always been a part of my life. Uh, body shaming, I. Like in my teenage years, I took it as a normal thing. I started hating my body because I thought that fat is something that is bad. I was bullied about it, you know, that I'm fat. Even if I achieve anything or do something good in my life, you know, people would always look past it and always uh, say that, you know, but, but you're fat. So everything is about my body and nothing beyond that, above it. That scars you, you know, that scars you in every possible way. And that's what I th think, you know, that's how my thinking process has been. That, uh, you know, because I'm fat, people are not going to talk to me or, you know, they're not going to be friends with me. But I don't think about it anymore. Uh, but uh, to be very honest, it never goes. Media has also contributed by and large in this, you know, in setting society's trend or, you know, putting into the conventionality, weight loss, fairness screens, posters which have crazy thin legs, all these things. So you always look at them and you're like, these are the things that people admire and nobody's going to admire a flabby leg or anything of that sort. So yeah. years back I was bullied for being too thin and uh, they called me stick figure and you know they, they used to call me a bag of bones and they, a lot of other names which really affected my self-confidence and now I have se no self-esteem because of that. You know I keep, I'm very conscious about my body, never confident in it and it really affected the way you know I look at things now because I try to maintain my body and I try to you know reach that perfect image but whatever I do it somehow you know, bounces back to me. I'm either too thin or I'm too chubby if I put a little weight. Or, you know, it's, it's always something. There is no perfect body. No one's ever going to look at me and say, oh, look, she's beautiful the way she is. I think even it might be my generation, your generation, or generations in between, women always have been burdened with the expectations uh, regarding their body image. Everybody wants women to be thin, looking pretty, well made up. And in these expectations, other facets of the personality, assertiveness, independent thinking, logic, everything just gets overburdened by the expectations of the looks. And it's one way because the society is socializing men and women both in such a way there that the body and the body image becomes more important where it is almost objectification of the woman's body so she is not seen really as an independent thinking person but she is seen always as an object and that's why it continues when I was doing my 10th standard or 11th standard I, I was very, very lanky and uh, very thin actually like my neighbors used to do bully me and you know like I was not strong muscular and I was very short as well I, people used to you know uh, uh, come to me and then they you know uh, it, it was actually like kidding but the other way around like I really felt very bad when I looked really very thin and you know like I always tell my mom that you no know, uh, why am I not why am I not able to uh, why am I not able to you know, uh, build my, build muscles and everything? My, my, my mom says that is artificial. You be yourself and uh, don't give much thought about what other people talk about you. And then like later, I did not take any conscious effort to build my body and muscular thing all of it. So like uh, that is how it is. Like uh, even today, when I think about my body, I, I laugh at myself. Like, Why the fuck did I look at this? Even now, you know, they see, look at me. But my biceps, triceps, or whatever. Like, and this, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this body.